Does the lack of a big idea take the sheen of Obama's visit to some extent at least? Mr. Kamal Sibal, I put this question to you first. When George Bush came the last time, the Indo-US nuclear deal was the big idea. This time, there is clearly a lack of a big idea. If Obama were to announce that America endorses India's candidature to a permanent spot in the United Nations Security Council, that could be the big idea. Do you believe that because there is no obvious big idea, it takes a bit from this visit? No, I think one has to be realistic uh, and not uh, go in search for this holy grail of a big idea each time we have a U.S. presidential visit. Our agenda is very vast, uh, covers a lot of issues, political security, terror-related, economic, and there's huge potential in the relationship. And this visit should be used uh, to build the institutional infrastructure of carrying the, in, the strategic relationship forward. So there is a lot that can be achieved. But unfortunately, the focus of the visit has shifted uh, to the economic sphere and that also creation of jobs in the United States. So this has detracted uh, from the, from the uh, quality of the visit, uh, a, as it were. So let us not be worried about the big idea. Let's do whatever we can to build up uh, okay. further and strengthen the foundations of our relationship uh, uh, for the future. Mr. Bajaj, you asked the question uh, and, earlier, and, and, you know, what is uh, the big... Okay, go on, Mr. Obama's, Sibal. Obama's uh, visit... Uh, no, uh, just a point uh, of clarification. You mentioned once or twice that uh, this is the first time a U.S. president has visited India. It's not true. President Carter also visited India, if you like, in his first term, but then he only had a first term. He didn't have a second term. So just... just, uh, just uh, point uh, of correction there. Mr. Bajaj, you spoke earlier about what is in this visit for India. You said it seems that Obama is trying to take more things away than give them. But as Kamal Sibal says, it's not possible to have a big idea every time. And that's an ideal India shouldn't keep chasing because that's not required. Rahul, uh, whether it's a big idea or a medium idea or a small idea, I'm not getting into that. Whether as an individual or as a corporate or as a civil society or as a country, everybody has to look after his interests, his people's interests. Our relationship with the United States as a citizen of India, what I see, really started developing positively in the last seven, eight years from the second term of President Bush. Before that, others had come, uh, including Bill Clinton, uh, etc. But our relationship was to my mind, not at all satisfactory, not at all close. They doubted us and we were not happy with them. Our first big thing, I must give full credit to President Bush for the Indo-US nuclear deal. Our Prime Minister put his chair and his government at risk. I was very much in the parliament at that time. And George Bush went out of his way to <coughs> sign this agreement with a country which had not signed NPT and CTBT. But after that, though I'm pro-U.S., let me repeat, and I wanted, I'm saying it openly, President Obama to win the presidential election. But after that, I've been disappointed. They need us. They're building a strategic relationship. Fine. But if they cannot handle our terrorist concerns because of Pakistan, they don't want to annoy China and they can't talk about Arnachal or anything like that. They cannot talk to us about the Security Council seat. What are we going to get? What's wrong? I'm not a charitable institution. My government is responsible also to 1,000 million people. And if the government of the United States is concerned about their negligible growth rate, about a 10% unemployment rate, their concerns in Afghanistan, fair enough. But we, a country of 50% people, earning less than $2 a day, uh, emerging market, but a very, very many poor people. We have no concerns. That's what it would appear. Our, I don't know. What, I read from somewhere 26 points are being discussed. Okay. But what's in it for the Indian people? And I don't want charity. I don't want charity. India doesn't need charity at all. But we want that equal partnership and some of our legitimate concerns, political, economic, 
technological must be specifically addressed otherwise all i can say is i have studied in united states i have great friends there i admire them as a country but i wish our government starts functioning the way their government functions keeping in mind their interests we should also not only keep worrying about their concerns and give them excuses every time for not doing this and not doing that what about the concerns of a thousand million people and our indian indian economy and indian industry